Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Christian, and today I'll show you an in-depth Pictory AI tutorial and ultimate Pictory review. Now you might be wondering how this tool works. Well, Pictory AI makes it easy to create videos with its features like script to video, article to video, edit videos using text, and visuals to video. In this tutorial, we're going to cover all the features I've mentioned and show you how this tool can take your videos to the next level. Before anything else, show your support by subscribing to our YouTube channel and gain access to exclusive content. Later in this video, I will give you a free coupon code to get Pictory AI at a 20% discount for life. Okay, let's dive into it. First, we'll be utilizing Pictory's script to video feature to create a video. I found that this feature is one of the standout offerings from Pictory as it transforms ideas and scripts into remarkable videos. The first step is to begin typing the desired script or use a script making tool to copy and paste it. While there are numerous tools available that automatically generate scripts, I prefer using ChatGPT to create this video with minimal effort. This tool allows me to customize the content precisely to my liking. For this particular video, I use the prompt, act as a content creator, make engaging content about generative AI and summarize it into 10 short bullet points. Generating the script may take a moment. Alternatively, you can also input your own ideas directly into ChatGPT. Once we have the script, we can easily copy and paste it back into Pictory. Click the Proceed button and paste it into the script editor. Normally, the script may contain unnecessary characters, so we need to edit it and remove these unnecessary signs. Afterward, we'll ensure that the captions for the video are suitable for the scenes. I recently discovered that if you don't trim these sentences, it results in captions that are excessive for the scenes. To avoid this issue, it's necessary to shorten these sentences so they are just right for the scenes. Allow me a moment to make some edits. All right, we have split the sentence here, and now we can proceed with manually selecting the text to highlight and help the AI find better visuals for your scenes. Another option is to let Pictory's AI automatically highlight and visualize the important details of your content. Simply hover over the scene settings and toggle the auto highlight keywords or auto visual selection options. However, if you prefer to create new scenes for specific sentences or paragraphs, you have the option to do so. You can choose to create new scenes based on sentence breaks, line breaks, or you can select both methods. If you ever have any doubts about the spelling in your script, worry not. Below this section, you'll find a spell checker that will underline any misspelled words in red. This way, you can ensure that your script is error-free. With that taken care of, we are good to go and can proceed to the next step. Click Proceed, and it will take us to the Choose a Template page. Pictory offers over 60 templates for us to choose from for creating videos. Whether you need a template for business content, motivational videos, or even just a simple caption, Pictory has you covered. In this video, I will be choosing Tech Head. Additionally, when selecting a template, you have the option to choose from three different aspect ratios. If you are unsure about which aspect ratio to select, there is no need to worry. You can always change it later based on your specific needs. Once we've selected a template, the storyboard feature comes into play. The storyboard analyzes the text we provide and automatically selects relevant visuals for each scene. This saves us time and effort in finding suitable visuals manually. As we work on the video project, the right side of the screen displays a preview of our project, while the timeline is located below it. This allows us to have a clear overview of our video's progress. If any of the scenes in the storyboard are not a perfect fit, we can easily change them. By selecting visuals from the library of images and videos offered by Pictory, we can ensure that every scene in our video aligns perfectly with our desired content. In addition to the pre-existing scenes, we have the option to create specific scenes. We simply type in keywords or categorize our ideas to find the right visuals for our custom scenes. 
Pictory's search capability makes it easy for us to find exactly what we're looking for. To add an extra layer of engagement to our video, we can choose from a selection of over 15,000 royalty-free background music tracks. Pictory provides a wide range of music options, allowing us to find the perfect sound that complements our video's mood and purpose. I will start by typing in a keyword to find the perfect match for our content. After listening to some of it, I will apply it to our project. Furthermore, we can enhance our video by adding a voiceover. Pictory offers 60 different voices for us to choose from. Although currently limited to the English language, it regularly adds new features and languages to expand its offerings. So, let's choose a female voice and listen to a few samples. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rate by 80%. Now that's a really good voice. Let's apply it to our project now. Once we've done that, we need to adjust the volume to balance the audio. We don't want the voiceover and music to be too loud or too soft. So let's do that. Click on volume and move the slider for music and voiceover to your desired level. Another tip to make the video more appealing to viewers is to customize the font. Simply click on the caption and the text editor will appear. Now we can make some edits. Let's change the font and animations and apply them to all scenes. You have the freedom to do whatever you want with your captions. Take advantage of these helpful tools to enhance your videos. If you want to add more scenes to your video, click the plus sign on the left or right of your scene preview. You can choose whether you want your scene to have text and visuals. In our case, let's add a title scene before the main content appears. Let me make some little edits to make everything more attractive. Now. Let's not overlook the fancy transitions that we are going to incorporate into our video. Simply hover below the timeline and click on this icon to select a transition. So here I have selected the fade effect transition and applied it to all visuals. However, if you prefer, you can choose not to apply it to all visuals. In case you make any mistakes during the editing process, you can click on this icon to redo your last action. One more tip I'd like to share is about the tools below the scene preview. You can customize your scene by hiding or showing the text, editing the voiceover, trimming, editing visuals, or deleting a scene. Once we've done all those edits, it's time to preview our video. This allows us to check the final result before downloading and sharing it with others. By reviewing our video, we can ensure that everything is just as we envisioned it. We can observe that there is a watermark present on the video. However, there is no need to worry as the watermark will be removed once the video is downloaded. It's time to download the video and share it across various platforms. Now let's take a glimpse of the video we've created. Generative AI is a cutting edge technology, reshaping industries and sparking creativity like never before. It refers to a class of artificial intelligence algorithms that generate content often mimicking human creativity by learning patterns from existing data. From art and music to writing and design, generative AI can be used to create original content in various domains. That's a really good video. If you have some time, I appreciate your effort to please leave a like and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Let's move on to the next feature named Article to Video. This feature is recommended for blogs, press releases, and HTML articles. But before we proceed, make sure you have an article ready that you'd like to transform into a video. Let me demonstrate how it works. Firstly, we require an article for our video. What we will do is copy a post from my food blog. It's a concise blog discussing the topic of home recipe versus fast food. Simply copy the link from the address bar and paste it into the designated box. Then click the Proceed button to continue. Pictory will now read the article and summarize the top highlights for us. It will also import the article images. Once it is completed, we now have an overview of our project. On the left side of the screen, we will find the source article along with the images from the blog. We can scroll down through the article and observe that there are highlighted sentences. As you can see, each highlighted sentence represents a scene in our video, which is listed on the right side of the screen. 
Additionally, we have the ability to skim through the highlights and add or remove them by clicking on specific sentences. Allow me to edit these highlights because sometimes the AI mistakenly highlights unwanted sentences. Let me share a professional tip with you. Ensure that you summarize the sentences into shorter ones, as it will result in cleaner looking captions later. Now, if you desire to create the visuals and highlights manually or automatically, hover over the scene settings and toggle the options accordingly. In our case, we will simply stick with the default setting, and once we are satisfied with the summary, click on the next button located at the top right corner. Next, we will come across the templates library. Once we have found one, click on it and select an aspect ratio to proceed. Now we have the storyboard in view. On the left side of the screen, we can find the Story View tab. This is where we can enhance our video by editing scenes and captions. To edit them, simply click on the scene and modify the text accordingly. So here I have decided to edit the caption and split the scenes as it will look better on the video. If you want to link a specific scene to another scene, well, you have the option to do so by clicking the Link Scene. On the right half of the screen, we will see the Video Preview area. Once we click on a caption, the styling menu will appear above the preview video. We can experiment with these options to customize the captions, so we'll simply edit a few according to our preferences. Now, if we are satisfied with the captions, let's proceed to edit the visuals. If you find a visual that better represents a scene, simply click on it to replace the existing one. Repeat this process until you are happy with the visuals. Next, let's add some audio. Select from the audio library or search for a track that fits the vibe of your video. If preferred, we can also add an AI voiceover to narrate our video. Once we're done editing our video, it will be automatically saved in the My Projects folder. We can preview it or download it. Depending on the size of the video, the download process may take some time. We can choose to run it in the background and Pictory will notify us when the video is ready. Here is a glimpse of our video. In the fast-paced world we live in, it's no surprise that fast food has become a go-to option for many of us. But let's not forget the charm and satisfaction that comes with cooking and enjoying a home-cooked meal. When you cook at home, you have complete control over the ingredients used in your dishes. Now that's how we convert our article into a video by utilizing Pictory's article to video feature. Let's move on to the next feature. Choose the edit video using text tool and then click the proceed button. Then we'll see that there are two ways to upload our video. Paste a link at the top or click the upload button to choose a video from the computer. After that, click proceed. Okay, now let's edit our transcript. We'll see our video transcription here on the left side of our screen along with some editing controls on the top toolbar. Next, we quickly read through our transcript to correct any possible errors. We'll select the text we want to edit and a pop-up menu will appear. So here we'll choose the edit text option and make our changes. Another great thing is that when we delete words and sentences from our transcript, they are automatically deleted from our video as well. Now these next two features are really amazing. Notice all of these ums and uhs in our transcript? Watch how we can easily remove these from our entire video with a simple click on the Remove Filler Words button. Next, we can instantly remove silences and extended pauses from our video. Pictory shows silences in our transcript as these little squares, so what we're going to do is click the Remove Any Silences button and choose anything over one second. Then click OK and watch them disappear. Easy peasy. Next, notice the Undo and Redo buttons at the top. This ensures that we can edit our video with fewer mistakes. We also have the ability to search text to find key moments in our video by simply typing a specific keyword here at the top. As I mentioned earlier, we'll be making video highlights out of this long-form video. Simply click the Auto Highlight button and then choose a specific time for the video. We'll create it in under two minutes. We can now see highlighted sentences on the transcript, so if you have time, you can easily highlight specific sentences to your preference. Now, here on the right side of our screen, we'll see the video preview area. Once we've made our edits, we can instantly play back our video to preview the changes. Now let's style our captions. 
Below the preview video, we'll see that the subtitles option is selected for us. You can turn this off and on if you prefer to remove or add captions to your video. We'll also notice that max lines are set to 1 by default. This tells how many lines our caption should be for each scene in our video, but we'll just leave it as default because it's better. Next, we'll change the template style for our captions. Simply choose a preset from the templates library, which you can find on the right under the preview video. We'll try a few out by clicking on them, and we can see that they are instantly applied throughout our video. This one looks good, so we're going to use it. Now that we're satisfied with our video, we can click the download video button here in the top right corner. Now that's how we create our long form videos into short video highlights. Let's move on to the last feature. This feature is for creating a slideshow video using images or video clips. Now all we need to do here is to click the proceed button. So these are some files I just got from Pexels, and I will create some cool slides based on them. It's going to take a little bit to upload our files, but just let it do its thing. So now that we have added the files, let's click on the Proceed button. After uploading, it will take us to the template selection. This one looks nice, so we're going to use it and choose the YouTube 16x9 for now. We're just going to give it some time to create our storyboard. Once it's done, it will take us to the Visuals tab. Now sometimes the scenes that we uploaded are not in order, so what we're going to do is to arrange our scenes according to our desire. Simply go to the Story View tab, click a scene, and drag and hold it to arrange it to your preference. We can also add text as well, so I just simply typed in here, My First Travel. So you can do that to all the scenes if you like. Now if you don't like the scenes that you uploaded then, you can choose from the library to find a better visual. Adding background music will also make our slideshow more professional, and apply if I find the perfect one that matches the slideshow. You can also add voiceovers if you prefer, but we're going to leave it just like that. Now, if you want to add more customization to your slideshow, then I must say that you explore these tabs right here in the left corner, where you can find helpful tools such as adding customized text, elements such as emojis, GIFs or stickers, styles or branding where you can add custom intros and outros on your video. Another thing that I want to talk to you about is when saving our video, so we'll ensure to select a format and do 1080p to get that higher quality, which is always a good thing. Now the last thing that we're going to do here is the transitions. Click on this button to get a transition from scene 1 to scene 2. You will see what it looks like when you hover over it. Choose the transition you want, whether fade, wipe left, right, circle crop, or wipe up. So I'm just going to select it randomly and apply it to all the visuals, then we're good to go. Alright, that's just a quick example of how to create a slideshow. You can preview it before downloading the video. Overall, Pictory is such a great tool for just about anything. You can let your imagination run wild with that, but it's easy to use through its features. Also, I'm about to share with you the free coupon code I was telling you about. I will leave my link down below where you can get a free trial on Pictory and use the free coupon code Best AI Reviews 36 and earn a 20% discount for life. As always, if you want more tutorials and reviews on your favorite AI tools, then click on the suggested video currently displayed on the screen.